Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to get a Mac like dock for Windows 7 Vista or XP. It looks better than the um, rocket dock and object dock you can find. So I'm going to go ahead and show you where to get it. It's at a um, website called windowsedge.com. I'll have the link in the description. So once you're on here, just go ahead and click on this picture right here. It'll ask you to save the file. Click save file. Alright, once you have it saved, go ahead and double click on it. Alright, and then you're going to click on Run. Alright, once it comes up here, you're going to click on Next. And you can uh, choose where you want to put the shortcuts. I'm just going to click right here and then I'll put it right here to just find the desktop and start menu. Next. Next. Agree with the terms. Click Next. Choose where you want to install it. Click Next. Um, install. Alright, now once it finishes installing, it will have two icons up here. One to link to the Windows Edge website and the Rocket Launcher shortcut. So you can go ahead and launch it or view the README file. I'm just going to deselect this and click on Finish. So I'm going to delete this right here. You can leave it on if you want to look at their other applications, but I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. Yes, alright. I'm going to go ahead and double click on it. Now this may come up right here, I may say class already exists. I don't know if it um, happens to everybody or just me, so I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And it should come up. And see, here it goes. Um, you'll have all this right here. I've already installed this once, so some of the features may be different. It comes with some of its own applications already on it, like a address book. As you can see, it has some of the same features as a Mac dog would. And this particular address book right here has the Mac icons. Um, so I'm going to exit out of this. And yours will have right here the current running applications. Um, but mine doesn't have that because I disabled that feature. Now you also have the taskbar right here. If you want to get rid of that, just right click, empty space on the dock, click on settings. And here are all the settings. Just go over to behavior, scroll down, and click on hide the taskbar. Then it should go away, but um, the uh, start menu will still be right here so you can access all of your stuff. Instead of having to press the start key all the time. And then you can customize the features you want. Um, you can change the dock size, whatever size you want. You can change the magnification, you can take it off, um, or turn it on, make it bigger, smaller, whatever. You can make it the items that magnify it, you can change it down to, but the maximum is three, I guess. So, good luck with that. <laughs> you can change the theme. It may look different. Um, Venom, Leopard, you can make it look different colors like that. You can change it to transparency right here. Make it completely invisible, just have the docs uh, icons right here. I like mine. I like to be able to see mine though. So here we go. And you can um, click hide the indicators, which is like it will have a little dot under here, like the Mac icon. Um, you can go over to position and change where you want it to go. Make it on the left, right. Um, if you do change it, you might want to adjust the size because it will look different. And um, they may go off the edge. And put it at the bottom. If you have multiple monitors like me, you can um, enable it, but I'm only currently using one right now. Um, the label, you can change the color of the to uh, text and everything. The font, um, the menu, you can click right here and click off. And all this other stuff, so go ahead and click out of this. Now you can have the uh, pop open things, whatever they're called, on the Mac dock like this. And you'll have all the different things right here. And um, it may come with some of them on here. If they don't, just right click an empty space, click add docklet. Come up right here, you're going to click on um, go to object doc docklet and click stack doc. Uh, let me see. You're going to click on the stack doc right here, just click add to dock, and it'll come up with a blank one. And then once you um, have that on, you can right click and change where the folder it is. And I have mine saved the favorites folder. There we go. And you can um, pick an icon and just click on here. And we'll have the programs in that folder you want or the files. I have the Adobe programs right here. Um, you can click right here, go over here, and I already have it selected. Click OK. 
And here it has some of the iPod apps on here. Oh, there's the iShutdown app. You can choose to restart, sleep, cancel, or shut down. Um, and that's basically it. It has the Finder in 3D view.